Hi guys, and welcome back to Laman Builds. The last building Kingsworthy episode did far better than I thought it would do, and at the time I'm recording this has over 250 views, which, considering I only had 30 subs when I posted it, is incredible, so I'm back for a second episode. In this episode, we'll be building Dean's Alley, which is a small road next to the inner close, which we built last episode. If you want to check that episode out, there'll be a link to it if you want to watch that one first in the top right hand corner. This street is known as Dean's Alley because there's going to be a deanery opposite it, which will be built in a later episode. Almost all of these we're building in this episode were supposed to be in last episode, but it would have just made the video too long. There will also be a lot of gardening in this one, as I built quite a few houses last episode, but didn't complete the gardens for them, so I'm going to be doing those in this episode as well. So, the first buildings I built are these ones from Winchester that make up Dome Alley there, which is actually the inspiration for this street. They're from around 1660 and were supposed to be in the last episode, but due to the length they're in this one instead. The front of both are very similar, but with subtle differences, so I only had to copy and flip them over and change a few minor details. The actual buildings have a lot of really cool drain pipes on them, which are in all weird positions and shapes, which I wanted to capture in this build, and I bet you didn't think you'd hear that today. From above, these two buildings are quite different, and just walking down the street now, they are finished. It's just really nice, and it's got to be one of my favourite parts of Kingsworthy I've built so far.
The building I just imported does get removed as I felt the scale was wrong, but this building we're now working on is a Georgian one from Winchester, like most of the buildings I've built here so far. It has a prime view over the cathedral and once it's built the deanery as well. The central part appears to be the first part to be built, with a Victorian extension added onto the left, which I really like how that turned out. This building's quite strange as some parts of it are below ground level and this subtle height change really makes it stand out. After this house, I went back to the one I copied in and got rid of it and tried to make a typical Georgian house to fit with the theme. But in the end, it felt as though there was too much brick, so instead the building that finally sat in this plot is this one from Salisbury. It's called Arundel's and was the home of former Prime Minister Ted Heath. I think it's open to the public, but I'm not completely sure, and even if it is, you wouldn't be able to go because of Corona.
now all that was left to do was the gardens and in order to do this I needed to extend the wall along the back. This wall in Kingsworthy used to be part of the old city wall during medieval times. I tried to go with a mix of formal and regular gardens to liven the backs up a bit and added in this line of trees to stop the rich people in these houses being looked in on. This is only the second walled garden I have ever built. The first one was a really tiny one built earlier in this episode, which I think is the smallest one on the server for now. Seeing it completed really makes me want to build a stately home, but that's for another video. I'm going to let the rest of the time lapse run and I will catch up with you at the end of it. So that rounds it off for this episode of Building Kingsworthy. As always, I'm going to cut to a cinematic of what I've just built, and if you enjoyed, please don't forget to like and subscribe, as it really helps me out, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.